Hello guys, this is Mauro from PrimoInfotech.com and in this video I want to show you a quick tour of uh, Windows 10, build 10.125. Uh, we recently uh, had an, another version that was the 10.122, uh, that was the official release, but 10.125 uh, just leaked onto the web and it has quite a few new uh, improvements over uh, the previous official release. So uh, let's get into them. It's uh, really worth to point pointing them out. There is a, a few changes that uh, everybody it's going to. I think everybody's going to like. All right. So um, the first thing I'm going to show you, like I always start, I'm going to start with the with the start uh, with the start menu because and that's where we have a, f a few uh, new tweaks. And that is that now um, we have. Let me see. It's it's kind of like buggy and this is not re um, a good release to install on a PC. So the performance is not that great. So now, like in Windows uh, 8.1, when we install a new app, and we get um, a new label right by the uh, all apps that indicates that um, we have a new app installed. So um, if you click the uh, all apps, even if you don't access the new app, the uh, the label will go away. So I install a new app, and now the label shows up in there, and and if we go in, the um, let me see if you see now the uh, label goes away. Just uh, it's nice that uh, sometimes we forget that we install new software, and that's a reminder um, where you know where we can go and start the uh, um, that uh, that app that we just installed. So when we uh, go to all apps, also there is a new improvement. As you can see, if we scroll down, like this is not new, but every time you see the uh, the, uh, the order or the of the listing, it's uh, alphabetized. And now another addition that Microsoft has added is that uh, now we can actually click the letter, any letter, and that will give us a grid of uh, letters, numbers. So, and you see how they're uh, they're white and the other ones are grayed out. That's because we don't have any any apps uh, starting with that letter but if we uh, click on one that it's uh, highlighted we can see that now it takes us to that section to you know that makes it easier for us to uh, to find the app which is a really nice addition to the uh, to the starter screen um, another, another thing that I notice is that uh, there is a new there is a new App is called the. Uh, uh, should I just uh, right here? It's the uh, network beta, and nothing is gonna come up. It's just coming soon. You saw the, uh, the splash of Microsoft. Uh, we still don't know exactly how this app is going. Uh, what's what's going to do? But it's obviously network related. But okay, that's not working. But that's gonna come out soon. All right. So I think there is one more thing. Oh, the uh, emails and accounts. Uh, I think this is part of a uh, takes us to the settings to set that up. But every time I open that, that's that's broken. So we might see that in in upcoming bills. And another thing that Microsoft is changing with this bill is the uh, jump list. If we right click now, let me show you right here. The uh, jump list now uh, has been updated. Now it has like a, a, a dark theme, and it has more a the, it has more uh, Windows 10 uh, feeling, if you will. Uh, it also works on the uh, on the start menu. <coughs> it also works on the start menu, but uh, I saw in different videos that it, that it does work. But I can't see it to like make it work on my bill. But that that must be because um, uh, Microsoft is doing a lot of A/B testing, so I might not be getting that. You don't see it here, but rest assured that uh, that is coming. And and I've seen it in, in different uh, sites that uh, that's actually that's uh, the jump lists are actually on on this bill. All right, so uh, let's uh, keep moving to the other changes, and now we have the uh, date, uh, the date and time. The, the calendar has changed, and now the theme also changed. It's the different styling, uh, more 
it's more refined now and everything um, you know I mean you can open calendar to set appointments or anything but uh, but it's, uh, it looks nicer than before that's a nice change that Microsoft is doing here also another thing I noticed is that um, the um, the notification center or the action center now it's more refined it's more complete you see that the borders now has been updated and now it looks more more that belongs into the operating system which is uh, which is really nice but uh, further than that there is no many changes on the on the action center um, so now let me show you that uh, the tablet mode or continuum has updated uh, there is a bug it seems that uh, opens Cortana and it's hard to get rid of it sometimes you just need to open to open an app and let me see if I let it, that makes it to, to a way and you can see also right here I'm going to show you this right, right away though now we have a <coughs> um, a global back button like we when we went to the um, and to this app, like if we go here, we see that we have the back button right there, but we can use this to go back and actually it took me back and that is supposed to work like that. Uh, let me see if I can show you a different example. Let me open the uh, the store. Let me just go to apps and see if that works in here. Let me see if I click back. Uh, it takes me. It takes me back. Well, like, like I said, this is no, this is not uh, official build, but what is supposed to happen is when you, when you drill, instead of an app, you're supposed to like, you're supposed to like go back one step, and then if you're on the on the home screen, you're supposed to uh, take you out of the um, of the app like. You know the same as on a on, on a Windows phone. Let me see if that happens now again. Uh, all right. So apparently in my build and in this installation that I have is not working correctly. And it's, uh, every time that I click back, it takes me it takes me out of the uh, of the uh, of, of the app. As you can see, I'm noticing that um, there is no more the uh, flip 3D. I think it's coming back the um, the previous. Um, way to update apps which I like it better than the 3D flip if you saw that before and another change going on uh, on this bill is uh, on the heart and hamburger button right here you can see the dot that also indicates that we have a new app installed and we can click that and that's supposed to go away and that's that goes away and not many more changes is uh, happening that we can see on the um, on tablet mode, so I'm gonna get out of here. So I'm gonna disable that, and I'm gonna go to normal mode. And now we're gonna go to settings because that's uh, where some of the um, uh, big changes are happening. I'm gonna show you right away that now when we go to settings, we go to accounts and uh, sign-in options, Microsoft is now adding on this bill is including a uh, Windows Hello which is a new security features that uh, does away without uh, you can look you're able to log in without using a password or or pin it, it uses a, f a facial recognition to uh, get you inside of the system um, it requires a special hardware to uh, to get it all up and running but um, but as you can see it's right here Windows Hello and you can click setup and it will bring the uh, the Windows Hello setup. Then you just click get started, and then we enter a pin. That's required. Like before you do this, before you set up the uh, Windows Hello, you need to set a pin, a password pin, before you can do this. And as you can see, I'm gonna get stuck right here on this step because I don't have the I don't have the hardware required to make it all work. I'm using this on a virtual machine. So, uh, but it's nice to see that, uh, and now we have that functionality. I'm gonna click cancel, and I'm gonna show you that after you set it, set this up, we have two options that we can configure, and that is automatically to unlock the uh, screen uh, uh, if the uh, if the feature recognizes your face, which is you know this is how you enable and enable the feature. And then there is an extra security feature uh, that requires you to turn your head left and right. Uh, we makes it uh, a lot more secure to get into your system. 
so all right so that's the um, big one of the big additions on build uh, 10125 but then if we go to the uh, main uh, page of uh, settings um, we've seen this change before if, uh, if not you can refer to my previous video the uh, for uh, hands-on on Windows 10 uh, build uh, 10122 that I walked you through all the uh, changes on that particular build but now if we go to personalizations we see that a star has been moved to the uh, to the bottom of the screen and now we can actually customize uh, this section the customize list so now we can enable and disable as we wish to occasionally uh, show apps and content uh, suggestions on the start menu or uh, store and display recent open programs and star and show the uh, recently added uh, apps group so that's really nice that we have that level of control starting with this build but we also can go to customize the list and that allows us to um, to customize the list of um, places that we want to access through the uh, through the start menu as you can see we have the uh, file explorer and settings and as we can see right now but we can disable this and add different items to the uh, to the menu like documents download music and you'll see that the new uh, places the locations the buttons are going to show up but as you can see right now it's under development and we on, it doesn't get uh, the the uh, the corresponding icon on the side now we only get a a smiley face right there but let me see if that if it actually works if that takes us to the uh, to documents all right it does it works at least that works let me let, let us see what else what other options do we have all right so apparently we have a file explorer settings that we can add uh, documents downloads music pictures video home group network and personal folders personal folders it was didn't get included let me see what's going on sorry the performance is not that great on on this bill right so personal folders and seems as a as a feature or uh, some other places coming up later on because it only adds um, a new file explorer option so you know we can add network and we see network right there and that takes us to the network section all right let me see if I enable all what hap what's what's going to happen if uh, we get a uh, scroll down or all the uh, places are going to show This bill is really, it's not good on performance. Okay. All right, so you see what it does? We can scroll, it will label, it will actually put all the um, buttons right there on the list, and we don't get too much access to the most used apps. Right. So as you can see, this um, totally under development. Okay, so I had a problem with the uh, with the start menu that uh, didn't want to uh, uh, get off of the screen. Now I'm able to do that. I'm going to disable the options that I don't need, and I'm just going to leave the defaults. Okay, so I'll just so, uh, show you uh, a few things that are new to this new build. But there's one more thing that I want to show you, and that's the uh, Microsoft is um, updating the icons on Win uh, Windows 10 build 10.1.2.6. And as we can see right now, I don't know if you can tell, but um, the uh, the File Explorer icon has uh, has been updated. And then when we go there, we can see now that. Uh, uh, folders they, they they have been updated as well and they have a more Windows 10 uh, filling and if we go to this PC and then we change the view so you can see it better let's see if I can change the view now we can see also the uh, drives and uh, devices 
the uh, the icons have has, has been updated as well. And I put some of the icons on the uh, on the desktop so you can see better. And this is the uh, this is how the PC looks like. This PC looks like quick access has a new a new icon as well. Network al also has a new icon. And pretty much everything else has a new icon. The recycle bin is the only one that stays the same. So um, the the previews uh, the preview um, uh, set of icons that we seen on on different builds uh, they were kind of cartoony, but this one this one they still have the same look as the, like the Windows Seven and Windows Eight, but um, but they look better than the uh, the ones we uh, we seen. So I think I can actually approve these. Like in my in my opinion, I can approve these uh, these icons, but uh, I wish Microsoft has like a different set, like totally new icons. But uh, I think that's that's not going to happen. They they want to make sure that uh, people feel familiar with with the previous uh, version of uh, Windows 10. So um, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, I think there is one more thing that I want to show you, and that's on Project Spartan, which is still has the uh, Project Spartan name and it doesn't have the uh, uh, Microsoft Edge label and the only thing that's uh, it might be one or two things that are new but mainly Project Spartan now is version 15 10225 and that's it there's no much uh, going on over here and that's pretty much everything uh, everything that's uh, going on on this leak build of the of the operating system. So I hope this video was informative for you and I'd thank you for viewing.